Continuing our coverage of City Foundation's participation of the COP20 Summit in Lima, Peru, this year, City has sent a team of young delegations to bring a freshening outlook to City's environmental messages. Next, we take a look at how they are promoting City on this international platform. As the COP20 rounds out its second week of negotiations here in Lima, an estimated 10,000 participants have passed through conference grounds. Among them have been Siji's delegation from the Americas, mostly under the age of 30. My name is Ted Chen and I'm 28 years old. Hanford Lin, age 26. Carolina Chicas and I'm 18 years old. I am 27 years old. I am 22. Youth is our main focus. We are promoting the disaster innovation, how to turn the trash into gold, about the plastic bottle become a blanket, about the testy rice, the pre-cooked rice. We need to invite more youth to be on the table. They can use their language skill. They can use the social technology, social services. They can group all the youth around the world together. And the team has a specific approach. In terms of the booth, uh, we've been trying to find collaboration, trying to spread our project and event out. We had some posters made, some videos made. One of the videos was bottles of blankets. The other video was ethical eating. Having the marketing material, like bookmarks, it's something that they can take home and share with with their families. Everyone thinks we're trying to convert them into vegetarians, but that's not our intention. We want the entire world to stop eating meat only for one day. The idea is we want to transform apathy into action. To commit to the ethical eating campaign, contact information is stored in a specially designed app. We are using the data to reflect who is participate and what kind of communication we're going to establish. But in the context of complex and high-level meetings, there is both optimism and urgency in including younger voices. We cannot just pass a suffering Mother Earth to them for adaptation and medication, and they can prepare well. And with this momentum, the world will wait for a stronger agreement at the COP21 in Paris next year.